Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is going to be a message I'm posting for July 3rd, setting the intention for the next 24 hours. Now, July 3rd may have already come and gone, depending on where you are in the world, or you may see this video uh, a few weeks from now, a few months from now. So we're just setting the intention that this message be for the next 24 hours, whenever you may stumble upon it. So we're going to see here what's coming up for the collective. Yeah. And so we have the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands comes up in a couple of different ways. In terms of timing, Nine of Wands is good because Nine of Wands says you're almost there. One big push and you're done, right? Nine of Wands is like you're almost to 10, you're almost there, you're doing a good job, keep going. So in terms of like when question, Nine of Wands could definitely come up to say very soon, you're almost there. Now, Nine of Wands, like all the other tarot cards, has layers and come, can come up in different ways. Sometimes this card comes up to tell us that we have worked way, way, way too hard to throw in the towel now. Some of you may be feeling discouraged and the amount of time and work you've put into something could be the very reason why you're feeling discouraged. You may feel like, look, I've put my whole heart into this. I've put my whole soul into this. I've worked so hard on this. And you may just kind of be feeling tired. Like I just, I, 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 I don't want to do it anymore or it's a lot of work. And the nine of wands is like, oh my goodness. If you knew how close you were, to the finish line there's an invisible finish line and if you could see that finish line or if you gave up and all of a sudden that finish line became visible and you could see where it was you would be livid you would be so upset because you don't understand you don't realize how close you are uh, to completing this like mission accomplished energy here so you don't realize how far you've come you may just be feeling very tired from how much work you've put into something but nine of wands says look protect protect what you have worked for you've come too far i do feel for some of you there's a very specific message in this in that you may be receiving some kind of consultation or advice like maybe somebody's coming in and saying you know what you should do you should do this and you should do that and i feel like for some of you you have someone who's coming in and like almost taking over, like redoing and revising and revamping. And um, it's taking it away from, it's taking your work or your project or your labor of love. It's taking it away from its original form. And some of you have heard me say um, this to you guys in the past. Uh, if I applied all of the advice that I get from well-meaning friends and family, um, for, not I shouldn't say family, my family's not really into what I do, but from well-meaning friends um, about like how to make the channel better, it would be a ridiculous like Chris Angel show. It would be, it, it would be very over the top. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with Chris Angel. There's nothing wrong with all those magical things, but it's not me. It's 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 not me. So I, I'm much more comfortable just taking a simpler approach without the theatrics. Um, and so some of you may be in a situation where you have someone that's coming in and taking you away from your essence or from uh, your original intention. And sometimes um, that's they're they're well meaning, but. Nine of Wands is saying, protect, protect what's yours, protect what you've created, protect what you've worked for. This could also come in in sense of like copyrights and patents and things like this for those of you that, that it applies to whatever you may be working on. Now, in other ways that the Nine of Wands comes up, the Nine of Wands can come up because we feel very uh, worried or stressed out about trusting an opportunity or a situation uh some sometimes we might feel very lonely and we want to open up our heart and we want to receive 
friendships and romantic relationships, but there's this fear. There's this defensiveness, right? It's like, oh, I've been, I've been burned before, and there's this fear and there's this defensiveness. And we're scared to let somebody in or to trust the situation or to give it a try. The Nine of Wands comes up with a very, very powerful message. Every single one of these staffs that are here belongs to someone that came up to this poor guy and tried to take him down. He's minding his own business. He's just doing his thing. He's chilling. And every single one of these wands belonged to a person who came in and tried to take him down. And um, in a lot of traditional tarot decks, there's a vineyard. So they're like, they're coming in to take the vineyard. But look, he has overpowered every single one of those people. He's taken their wand away from them and he's stuck it in the ground as like a, a, a trophy of his victory, like like a, a, a trophy of his uh, overcoming that obstacle or that challenge or winning that battle. So the Nine of Wands is like basically saying, look, this is not your first rodeo. You've been through this before. Every lie, every dirty little trick, every manipulation, you've seen it. You've been there, you've done that. There's absolutely positively nothing new under the sun anybody can come at you with. That being said, these experiences, though they were unpleasant and maybe even painful, have given you a lot of wisdom and a lot of tools. And you have the ability to spot a red flag. You have the ability to see something if it's not right, if it's not adding up. So as long as you're staying alert and keeping your eyes open, you're not going to let in the wrong person. You're not going to trust the wrong thing. You're not going to end up in another heart-wrenching, excruciating, agonizing, karmic cycle on again, off again, that goes for, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. Those exist. I know from experience those exist. But you're not going to fall into that again. Because you know what the red flags are. You know what to look out for. You know what the warning signs are. And that way, very, very early on, you can nip it in the bud and be like, nope, no thank you. I gave this a chance. I gave it a moment. <laughs> I've seen enough. I'm not interested, right? So there's this sense where you don't have to be scared to give things a try. You don't have to be scared to explore a situation because you know your experience has taught you what to look out for. And if you see it, you can pass it on by and say no thank you. Therefore, you have nothing to fear. You don't have to be scared about letting in the wrong person or the wrong situation as long as you're letting experience to speak for itself. Now, one of the ways it might come up and we might like kind of be uh, new in this process or we might not uh, realize this at first, but one of the ways that this might come up is that um, you may be in a situation and it might remind you of another situation. So what do I mean by this? Like, uh, say you go on a job interview and you're like, man, that person really reminded me of that one boss I had a while back or that that place really reminded me of that one job I had where they were always late getting me my paycheck. Like I had to hand, hound them down to get my paycheck. Then I had to double check my paycheck to make sure that all my hours were on it, right? Or they were always trying to get me to do shady things or man, it was such a toxic environment. Or you may meet a person you're like, man, that person really reminds me of my one cousin that was always talking about me behind my back. Or man, that person really reminds me of that one ex that just like ripped out my heart and kept playing games, you know, but I love them so much. Like when these things happen, this is your intuition this is your gut uh, picking up on that vibe, on that energy, and basically telling you, look, listen, we've already been through this lesson. We already took this class. We don't need to take it again. That's not judging a book by its cover. That's like you're recognizing the energy. So pay attention for that. If you're like, Amethyst, I don't know. I don't know what the red flags are. Well, then 
you know, just kind of pay attention and see, oh, does this person remind me of my ex? Or does this person remind me of this person or that person or this situation or that situation? That's one way that your intuition is telling you something is not ideal in this situation or scenario, right? Like there's something about this energy or about this person that's very similar to a past experience that I would rather not repeat. And that in itself, there you go. You already know, you're like, I'd rather not repeat this. Well, guess what? You don't have to repeat it. So nine of wands is like, you have the experience, you have the skill, you have the knowledge, you have the tools, you have nothing to fear. You don't have to live your life in fear, right? Uh, I don't know why it just made me think of the Tom Petty song. You don't have to live like a refugee. My mom loves that song. Um, you don't have to live your life in that fear. You don't have to live your life being scared like, you know, what if this goes wrong and that goes wrong? Or what if I can't trust this person? Or what if I can't trust that person? You know what the red flags are. You know what the warning signs are. And so you can trust yourself to make the right decisions. You don't have to be in fear. And you don't have to wrap yourself up in bubble wrap and sit on the sidelines and just watch the world go by feeling lonely and feeling sad and feeling scared and wanting to participate but being scared that you're going to get hurt you are a powerful protector of yourself and you can trust in your wisdom you can trust in your experience you have the tools that you need to make the right choices okay so you don't have to be in fear you may want to check out um the weekly forecasts those are linked in the description of the video. If you haven't checked out the love readings for July, also linked in the description of the video. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite. You can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you'll have a fabulous day ahead. We'll see you in tomorrow's messages. Be well and take care. Bye, my dears.